you have a black family living in their neighborhood fishing, and you're gonna have Karen and you know her her other uh, man, Kevin, Ken, whatever you want to call them, show up just to harass this couple that's sitting there fishing, not bothering anybody, not committing a crime because they feel that they don't live there. Let's roll that. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? You guys residents here? Are we bothering anyone? Don't touch anything. Sorry? All right, well, um, this lake is presently for residents only. So, thank you for filming. I'm not giving you permission to film, so. She's not. Hey, so y'all hear what I go through, right? This the third person. This the third person. I'm in my own neighborhood and a white person came and bothered me while I'm fishing. Another white person came and bothered me while I'm fishing. This is the third time. She's like, oh no, I'm not giving you permission to film. This is my phone. I can film and do whatever I want. I study the law. <laughs> I study the law. Thank you. I'm sorry. Hey, well, well don't, don't leave now. Do you want to say, hey, do you live here? Where you live? What's your address? Where do you live? <laughs> Where do you live? This is unbelievable. Where do you live? Why? What, what's your name, by the way? Because at the next Karen? meeting, I'm definitely going to mention you. Her name is Karen. Well, I asked you earlier. You can say, where do you live? I was told not to talk to strangers who don't right. introduce themselves. I'll not introduce myself. I have to be on the homeowner association board. We pay for the lake. It's a private lake. So if you live introduce in the neighborhood, yourself. All you have to introduce do is yourself. Say, who are you? I am John McCollins. That's good to know. John That's McCollins, where you live? I live right down here. Where? where? What street? What's We're your address? Springwood Drive. Okay. Say that again. What is it? I'm not telling you anymore. You got it the first time. Okay. You got it on tape. You're recording. We so got it the first time. Where do you, where and where do you right. live? Where do you live? I told you. Okay. That don't mean and I got to tell live? you where I live. Right. <laughs> Who does that? You can break into my home. Hey. I don't know you. Well, you Police officers. Uh, well, you and gang warden, this is the man right here that's harassing us. You know, one thing I cannot stand about, you know, these those people is that they don't have a freaking life. If, if I'm riding around in my neighborhood and I see somebody fishing, what they got to do with me? They're not at my house. They're not bothering me. They're not harming anything around me. So what I do I care if somebody's over there fishing? But these people are so hateful, these people are so freaking miserable that they gotta just harass black folk. Just harass them. That's it. That's why I say these, these people, like I say, are full of the devil because they 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 full of anti-black racism. They can't stand to see black people mind their business. And one thing they can't stand is when you move to certain areas where they feel that you should not be. I tell the white supremacists this. Black folks wouldn't be moving where you're at if you would give the same resources you give to yourself. If you make sure black people have the same resources in their communities, the same businesses you have, the same food, the same everything that you have, black folks would not even go over there where you at. So you want to keep black people out your areas, give black people the resources that they need. Why should black folks have to suffer? You got all the resources and black folks don't. Black folks need to go over there where you at. A bunch of them. I hope a bunch of them go over there and to the point that you start your white flight. Cause I know how you are. Shoot, let 10 black people move in. You say, also, it's a bad neighborhood. Let's go. Okay, leave then. Good. Cause, Cause you're not gonna move them businesses like you're talking about. Y'all can leave them houses, but the businesses not gonna go like that. Not at all. But let me know what y'all think about this. Like I said, this is the, when I talk about uh, the, the terrorism that happens to black people in America. Because it could be physical, but also this is one of the most annoying things that you gotta unfortunately encounter. This is why I tell people this, if you become very hostile when they do that, and they know, let me not talk to him, is he gonna be very hostile with me? Then they'll leave you alone. Before you watch my video, do the boy a favor and click the subscriber button and tap that bell icon for instant notifications. You will not regret it on mamas. From insane workouts to smoking and drinking. My name is Bait 2 ga B-A-Y, the number 2 G-A. Because I am from the... 
and now I live in Georgia. Catch you, right? I am breaking from a background actor to become to an A-list celebrity. You will have one-on-one -on -one access to my life and see that it is fantastic. You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store.